Hello, the Denver Police Department is happy to roll out a new program and introduce you to a new team of civilians that are going to be assisting the Denver Police Department with crashes that happen across the city. In 2016, there were over 25,000 crashes that happened in the Denver metro area that were non-highway related. In an effort to keep more police officers out on patrol, um, the Denver Police a Denver police officer came up with the idea to create a crash report technician. Thanks to that innovative idea, on May 1st, the Denver Police Department deployed new crash report technicians throughout the city. The crash report technicians are also known as CRTs. They are made up of 15 individuals who come from a variety of backgrounds with one thing in common. They all have law enforcement backgrounds and more importantly have a commitment to public safety. Several have come out of retirement to continue to serve the residents of Denver, including five retirees from the Denver Police Department. They will respond to non-injury and minor injury crashes on Denver surface streets, which are those that do not occur up on the highway. Um, they will also be responding to hit and runs where there's no suspect on scene. Our CRTs can issue citations to at-fault drivers, which is a special commission granted through the Executive Director of Safety's Office and will be dressed as the CRTs you see here. They will be driving this van out to crash scenes um, so that the public knows that they are an official entity of the Denver Police Department to assist them. They will be housed here at our Traffic Operations Bureau and work Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. focusing on our morning rush hour and our afternoon rush hour um, driving. <laughs> Can we go over? <laughs> All right. It is important of, uh, for drivers in Denver to be aware of this new program so that if they are in a non-injury or minor injury crash on Denver surface streets, they know that the CRTs do have the authority to handle the crash and assist all parties involved. The teams are dispersed in all six districts across the city. To date, the team has responded to hundreds of accidents for, um, and calls for service out in the metro air, in the city of Denver. There are several goals of having our CRTs added to the Denver Police Department family. First, is to keep our uniformed officers out on patrol and respond to calls for service in their respective districts. Second, to have uniformed officers available to conduct more proactive and issue, uh, patrol and issue citations for crash causing infractions. Studies have shown that higher visibility and enforcement um, drive down traffic crashes and that is our ultimate goal. Third is to provide better customer service for our citizens and our visitors by reducing wait times for service for non-injury and minor traffic crashes. We do um, intend to see a decrease in wait times. Calls for service now uh, going in for a minor injury crash have been in excess of 60 minutes and we do want to service our, public, our citizens better by getting out there sooner. There's not always um, an officer available to handle a crash. So this unit will take place of that and service the citizens better in a more timely manner. We've received some feedback. Um, the citizens have been very receptive. Again, they're receiving the help in a timely manner to go about their day. A traffic crash can be something very significant in that individual's life, and they do have other things to take care of in that given day when it happens. So it reduces the stress being able to wrap up the incident with someone from the city and to go about their business. The officers have also given us a lot of positive feedback. They're happy that they can focus on enforcement doing other proactive patrols in their communities that they serve. As you can see, there's no question that this is an official city vehicle. We do have it specially decaled and they are wearing um, a city issued uniform. We do have the city logo on it and they are told to identify or produce their identification if asked. And um, if there's further questions from the citizen, then they are um, asked, the CRTs are asked to call a supervisor and I will personally go out and respond to those crash scenes to communicate with the citizens that are involved in crashes that this is our new team and to get out there and to spread the word and share with their family and neighbors. So our CRT unit will be responding to non-injury or minor injury crashes. The difference between an injury crash and a non-injury crash for the Denver Police Department is our way that we respond. If it is an injury crash, 
you will see patrol units going code 10, which is our emergency equipment, our full lights and our sirens responding to check for injuries and to um, ultimately open up the through affair to get traffic moving again. The CRT unit will be responding to non-injury or minor injury. They cannot respond with our lights and sirens. They have amber lights is the only emergency equipment that they have. And as you can see, these vans are a pretty good size. So we don't want these blazing through uh, Denver traffic on any of our surface streets. These are very minor accidents, fender benders, um, a lot of rear enders where we have the front of one vehicle crashing into the back of another vehicle for following too closely. That is what has been pretty much the bread and butter of the team um, for folks just driving a little too closely or being distracted and crashing into the car in front of them.